If you're like us, you probably had no idea your PS4 was capable of so many magical, amazing things. Basically, the only thing this console can't do is bake you a batch of blueberry muffins for your morning commute. It kind of explains why the PlayStation and Xbox fanboys have battles as fierce as the Vikings. In this video, we'll take a look at 10 crazy hidden features on your PS4. And if this video proves anything, it's that there's a clear winner in the console wars. Yeah, we're totally kidding about the clear win of the Xbox vs PlayStation 4 battle. Because, come on, PC gaming is tops. But, in all seriousness, you should subscribe to our channel if you really want to come out the defining winner. Number 10. Turn your PS4 and TV on at the same time. Sometimes, it's hard to believe we live in a time where we don't even need our remote controls to turn things on. Our phones have infrared technology, which allows us to pretty much turn anything on and off at our own will. We'll never have to leave the couch again unless we need to use the bathroom or get a glass of water. If you're curious how this feature works, it's pretty similar to the way you can dim your light on your PS4's DualShock controller. If you don't know what we're talking about, check out the link in the description to see the video for that handy trick. If all you really want to do is pick up your controller and start playing, then this feature is your solution. You'll have to make sure your television and your PS4 controller are connected by an HDMI cable. Also, your TV will need to have CEC support. If you've purchased it within the last couple of years, then you should be fine. Go to your PS4's dashboard and go to Settings then System, and choose Enable HDMI Device Link. Once you're done, turn them off and see if they're working simultaneously. Try again by pressing and holding the PS button, and they should turn on one right after the other. Number 9. Listen to tunes while playing. There's nothing quite like playing an FPS and listening to some great music while you're at it. It's an amazing way to really get into the zone. Although some hardcore gamers are completely against doing this, we have to disagree. If you're just there to play a game and have a good time, there's no harm in cranking up your music, and if you're a Spotify user, it's a lot easier to do so. Most of the games will adjust manually, so the soundtrack drops out while the sound effects and dialogue remain during gameplay. You may have to fiddle around with the sound features of certain games, but if you want to get your music flowing, here's how to get started. First, you'll need to launch the Spotify app from the PS4's dashboard. If you have an account, you should log in and link your Spotify to your PlayStation Network account. Choose your favorite playlists or albums and hit the PlayStation button to return to the home screen. Start the game you would like to play and the music should continue playing while everything is still loading. To change the music volume, press the right and left buttons. Push X to pause and L1 and R1 can be used to skip songs. All your favorite music at the push of a button. How cool is that? Number 8. Compare your trophies. Trophies were Sony's answer to the Xbox's achievements in the 2.40 update, and they've been awesome additions to gameplay for many players. They've also been not so awesome for sore losers who think trophy hunting is a waste of time. Trophies have become an important part of gaming, because who doesn't like to win stuff, even if it's just a digital reward? Trophies can be earned by achieving in-game accomplishments like beating certain levels or collecting a number of items. There are tons of different ways to earn trophies, but the PS4 goes even further. Competition is part of our primal instinct as humans. We like to win, and trophies make us feel like we've just done that. If you're curious about who's doing better in a game, all you have to do is check how your friends are doing by seeing the amount of trophies they have or haven't earned. To compare trophies and achievements with your friends, go to Trophies and click on Compare Trophies. Scroll down to see how you fare against the competition, and be prepared to either sob your way through a pint of Ben & Jerry's, or call your friend and rub your mastery in their faces. Either way, you'll still be a winner in our books. Number 7. Resume midway through gameplay. Listen, we totally get how important and valuable our time is, and there's nothing quite like the feeling that comes with being able to power up your PS4 to be greeted by the sight of the intense level you were stuck on. Before the PlayStation 4, we're not even sure what we did, because being able to resume your gameplay midway through a game is probably one of the most epic features ever given to players by a company. Now if only we could order pizza from our console at the touch of a button. That truly would be a perfect console for just about anyone. If Sony steals this idea, you know where they heard it first, just to be clear. 
If you're hoping to gain the ability to play a game as soon as your console turns on, then we're here to help. Just go to Settings, then choose Power Saving Settings, and then Set Features Available in Rest Mode. Select Keep Application Suspended, so each time you fire up your PS4 after it's set in Rest Mode, you can start your game right from where you left off. It obviously doesn't work with online games, but it will take you straight to the login screen, adding a few extra seconds to your gameplay. Number 6. Take Quicker Screenshots One of the coolest features of the PlayStation 4 is the ability to take screenshots quickly. We love to take and share our screenshots, but some people wish the process was even faster. We are, after all, a generation that expects instant gratification. We quickly learn tapping the share button on the controller allows you to save a screenshot, but there's an even faster way to do it. You can either hold down the share button in the game, or you can play with the settings to make sure simply tapping the share button once will allow you to take a screenshot. Now we're just waiting eagerly for all those amazing screenshots of weird glitches and cool achievements to fill our limited hard drive space. We really hope you've upgraded your hard drive by now. It's totally worth it. And if you want to have this easy share feature, here's how you get it. Tap the share button, then press options. Go into settings, go into sharing, and broadcast settings. Share button control type, and then select easy screenshots. Now you can share all your favorite screenshots with just the tap of a button. Number five, hide from everyone in offline mode. Yes, you've probably heard the term ghosting when it comes to relationships. Ghosting is when a person suddenly ceases all communication with someone they no longer wish to date. This is done in the hopes that the person ghosted will just get the hint and move on. What if I told you ghosting can happen on the PS4 as well? Do you have a friend that's really bad at video games, and every time you log on to see their screen name your heart sinks just a little? You know they're going to send you an invitation to play with them. Let us share with you the secrets of our people, because the days of playing with really bad gamer friends is now over. If you go to the PS4's home screen, and click on the profile icon, and then click on online status, select appear offline from the pop-up menu. Now you'll never have to play a game with anyone you don't want to again. Sadly, we don't have suggestions on how to confront this person, or any good excuses for why you haven't been online recently. We'll leave those up to your better judgment. Good luck. Number 4. Customize your DualShock controller We're not trying to get too crazy here, but some people just have trouble with the default button layout, and we're not here to judge them, but we're here to help them find a solution. Who wants to learn about this obscure and not very useful feature? Apparently, you do. So here we go. Go to your accessibility settings and scroll down to Button Assignments. Select the Custom Button Assignments option. Now you have the option to change your controller's buttons to meet your needs. This is useful for some players, and sometimes people just like to learn new things. Who knows, maybe if you rearrange the buttons you'll find it makes you a better gamer. But to be honest, the only reason I find this remotely useful is for pranking people. Let's say your friend went to bed a little too early. You could mess around with his default button arrangements and watch him try to play a game in horror the next day. The cool thing is you can now pass on your newly found knowledge to help him, or maybe fix the problem to gain a favor from him. Psst, remember kids, blackmail is only fun if you're on the winning side, otherwise it's just not worth it. Number 3. Power Save Mode There's nothing quite like the feeling you get when you turn on your PS4 and find your DualShock controller has died. It takes a little piece of your heart with each power drain. You finally realize you left your PlayStation 4 on all night, again, and it means you won't get to play the level you've been agonizing over all day, unless it's with a wired controller. Oh, the humanity! Once again, Sony comes to the rescue by adding a Power Save Mode to the PlayStation console. If you put your PS4 in power save mode, not only are you going to save a bit of cash on your next electricity bill, but you'll also save the battery life of your controller. If you go into your power save setting, you can set your PS4 to be switched off at certain times, as well as be put in standby mode, and it can automatically switch your DualShock 4 controller off when not being used. It's extremely useful and environmentally friendly, but really we would love it if they came out with a new DualShock controller that didn't die in the middle of gameplay. Now that would be a nice added feature. Number 2. Preload Your Pre-Orders We would like to introduce you to the future of gaming. There will be no more lines out the door of GameStop and Best Buy at midnight and racing home to play the highly anticipated game of the year. Now you can hang out with your cat, or turtle, or whatever pet you have for a few extra hours. 
and at midnight all you have to do is turn the power button on and start playing the game you've been eagerly awaiting. How is this possible you ask? Well, our ancestors before us spent years trying to perfect the level of gaming we enjoy today. They suffered at the hands of physical gaming copies and hour-long lines and slow download speeds so we could enjoy the fruits of their labor and be so lazy we don't even have to leave the comfort of our house. You can now pre-download a game with the PlayStation 4's handy automation features. All you have to do is set up automatic downloads in your PS4 settings. Once you've done this, any game you pre-order will automatically be downloaded without you having to lift a single finger. And if you've upgraded your hard drive, you won't have to have a care in the world. Number 1. Add More Storage Okay. If you're like us, the main reason you bought the PS4 was because of the tech specs of the console. And if you aren't a total nerd, then you probably didn't care about the hard drive. Choosing the 500GB drive just seemed like a bit of a letdown when it came to space. But it turns out there's a trick to solving this problem, if you ended up getting the cheaper alternative. We spent countless hours biting our nails in anticipation of downloading a game that might be too large. Final Fantasy XV tops out at 43.46 gigabytes, which means you can only install this game about 11 times on your 500 gigabyte hard drive. It'll make you wish you started worrying about your PS4 storage a bit earlier, but we have a solution for this little problem. Delete some of your precious content. Okay, we're definitely kidding, and we hope you're still listening. Don't delete anything. Sony took it upon themselves to think about how they could solve this space issue and their answer was to design their components to be replaceable. Lucky for us, that means the hard drive is one piece of equipment that can be replaced. It's not uncommon for gamers to swap their 500 gig drive for a 2 terabyte version. Who thinks the PS5 might be released by 2018? We love the PlayStation 4, but what are some new features you hope to see in the next generation consoles? Besides the capability of ordering pizza, of course. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll subscribe to our channel to discover a few new tricks and tips about your favorite consoles and games. As always, I'll see you next time on The Gamer.